Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will simplify fractions. Simplify by dividing by the greatest common factor, or the GCF. Let's simplify 9 twelfths. We have 12 equal parts, and 9 of them are shaded, which makes 9 twelfths. In order to simplify 9 twelfths, we need the factors of the numerator and denominator. We know the numerator is 9, and we know the denominator is 12. We need to find the factors that multiply to make 9 and the factors that multiply to make 12. Now let's find the factors that multiply to make 9. We know that 1 times 9 equals 9, 2 times no number will equal 9, and 3 times 3 equals 9. So 1, 3, and 9 are the only factors that will multiply to make 9. Let's find the factors that multiply to make 12. 1 times 12 equals 12, 2 times 6 equals 12, 3 times 4 equals 12. And we can stop there because these are the only numbers that multiply to make 12. We notice they have 1 in common. They don't have the 2 in common, but they do have the 3 in common. The 3 is the greatest common factor of 9 and 12. Let's take 9 twelfths and we will divide by their greatest common factor, which is 3. We will divide the numerator by 3 and the denominator by 3 to find the simplest form of 9 twelfths. We know 9 divided by 3 equals 3, and 12 divided by 3 equals 4, which makes 3 fourths. Let's make a model of 3 fourths. We notice that 9 twelfths and 3 fourths are equivalent, and we notice that 3 fourths is the simplest form of 9 twelfths. Let's say it together. 9 twelfths can be simplified to 3 fourths. Let's simplify 4 twelfths by dividing by the greatest common factor. Here we have 4 twelfths, 12 equal parts, 4 of them are shaded in blue. In order to simplify 4 twelfths, we need the factors of the numerator and the factors of the denominator. The numerator is 4, the denominator is 12. Let's think of the factors that multiply to make 4. 1 times 4 equals 4, 2 times 2 equals 4. These are the only numbers that multiply to make 4. Now let's find the factors for 12. 1 times 12 equals 12, 2 times 6 equals 12, 3 times 4 equals 12. These are the numbers that multiply to make 12. We notice that 4 and 12 have the 1 in common, 2 in common, and 4 in common. 4 is the greatest or largest common factor. We will take 4 twelfths and we will divide by 4 because 4 is the greatest common factor between 4 and 12. 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. Let's make a model of 1 third. We notice that 4 twelfths and 1 third are equivalent, and that 1 third is the simplest form of 4 twelfths. Let's say that together. 4 twelfths can be simplified to 1 third. Let's simplify 8 twelfths. We have a model of 8 twelfths here. We know that 8 and 12 are divisible by 2 because 4 times 2 is 8, and 6 times 2 is 12. So we can say that 8 divided by 2 is 4. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. That gives us 4 sixths. Now, we're not done simplifying yet because 4 and 6 have a factor in common. Now, we have to keep simplifying. We have to keep going. We know that 4 and 6 have the factor 2 in common because 2 times 2 is 4, and 3 times 2 is 6, so we can divide by 2 again. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Here we have 2 thirds. Now can we still simplify 2 thirds? Let's think, we have 2 and 3. We know that only 1 times 2 makes 2, and the only factors that make 3 are 1 and 3. If we divide by 1, the fraction will stay the same. So we know that 2 thirds is the simplest form of 8 twelfths. Let's say that together. 8 twelfths can be simplified to 2 thirds. On this example, we divided twice. If you use the greatest common factor, you only have to divide once. Or you can slowly get there by dividing multiple times until you get to a fraction that can no longer be divided. <laughs>